fans watched the game, law enforcement stayed focused on safety from all angles in and around Fenway Park. There was clearly a bigger than normal police presence one week after the Las Vegas concert massacre. WBZ's uh, Jim Smith is live outside the ballpark. He's got that part of the story for us. Jim? Well, Ken, of course, a big night for the Red Sox and their fans. They win. They force a game for a lot of excitement here at Fenway Park. But before and during the game, there was some serious business for police, making sure that everybody was safe. Security checks at Fenway are nothing new. But on Sunday, things were stepped up quite a bit. Plenty of extra police, cops on the ground level and higher up. Take a look here at an officer perched on an upper level, scanning the crowd with binoculars. Back on the street, fans are okay with it. Fine, I travel a lot, just like it is at the airport. It's just kind of the way that it is these days, so we just kind of expect it, and, uh, and I'm okay with it. You know, we have to go on doing the things we enjoy. The beefed-up security, a direct response to news that Las Vegas shooter Stephen Paddock had researched sites overlooking Fenway Park sometime before his deadly rampage in Vegas. The same security presence, pretty tough there, so yeah, yeah. Every state, we went to Seattle, watched them, uh, Astros play there, and same thing. So security's tied everywhere. Okay. And it should be. Fans were asked to come in early today because of the added screenings. It's all part of a busy weekend, which also included a Bruno Mars concert at TD Garden. Well, we know how important it is for these type of games. I went to Bruno Mars last night, now to uh, th this shindig here, and security's tight, which is always good. And, of course, we get to do it all again now for Game 4. Security, obviously, will, will be every bit as tight as it was here today. Live at Fenway, Jim Smith, WBZ News.